I will. Sure. Whatever you want to do. Let's. Let's do this. Here, wait. On the. <laughs> oh, there we go. Perfect. <sighs> It is. It always is. They were on mute there, so that's good. Alrighty. There we go. Hey, so Shabbat Shalom. Let's uh, let's begin because um, as as we as we did a couple of weeks ago, we we start at 7:30. Whether it's just me and Sharon in the room, or whether we got other folks, or or whether it's a whole crowd, and as the service goes, we build. So Shabbat Shalom. Let's open with a Shalom Alechem, an energizing melody for Shalom Alechem, page 13. Shalom Alechem, Malachi Asharet, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech, Malachi Hamalachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Shalom Alechem, Malachi Asharet, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech, Malachi Hamalachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Ay, ay, ay. Shalom Alechem, Malachi Asharet, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech. Malachim <laughs> And let's turn together to page four and five as we light our Shabbat candles. And Shabbat Shalom, Manny. All the way down in Florida, or Hadash South, as it were. Shabbat Shalom. So we'll read together. Almighty God, grant me and my loved ones a chance truly to rest on this Shabbat. May the light of the candles drive out from among us the spirit of anger, the spirit of harm. Send your blessings to my children that they may walk in the ways of your Torah, your light. And we bring in this light of Shabbat. And when we light our candles, we not only recite the bracha, the blessing for this mitzvah, right, of being commanded to kindle the lights of Shabbat, but we take a moment to bring in the light. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvahotav V'tzihivanu Le'ad Likner Le'ad Likner Shel Yeah, 
The last stanza. He who froze Shabbat Shalom. <coughs> so we're going to turn together to page 25, Psalm 96. Shiru Ladunai Shir Hadash, sing a new song to God. I just want to take a second to bring together community across platforms. So I want to acknowledge, I want to say Shabbat Shalom to Sharon and Manny on Zoom. Shabbat Shalom to Rich and Lee. Lee, and I'm Rabbi Alana, in the sanctuary, if you are joining us on YouTube, say a quick Shabbat Shalom. It is wonderful to be here. Oh, hey, Paul is here on YouTube, and if you are also here on YouTube, uh, give us a quick Shabbat Shalom and share your name, where you're joining us from, so we can all come together as one community. Um, not only it, from, from our homes in here in the sanctuary, but also from different spots in the country, especially over the summer, when people uh, fling out far and wide and this technology that we brought into our davening in order to keep us together during covid also keeps us together during times when we're traveling go figure so and if you are somewhere unusual share that although manny florida is not that unusual for you guys <laughs> it's pretty usual for you reverse snowbird that you are summering in florida so a new song for new and new-ish ways of thinking about coming together in community. Page 25. Shiru Adonai, Shiru Adonai, Shiru Adonai, Baruchu Shemo, Basaru Humi Hom Leom Yeshuato, Basaru Humi Hom Leom Yeshuato. Page thirty seven, we rise in spirit or in body for Psalm twenty nine. Miz more le David, Havu la donai benelim, Havu la donai, Kavodva 
knows. I, 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 have a donai, give a chimbo, is the have a donai, Padrat Kodesh, call a donai, Al Hamahim, El Hakavo, the Rim, Adonai, Al Maim Rabbi. Call Adonai, Bako Achai, Call Adonai, Behadar, Call Adonai, Shover Arazim, Faishaber Adonai, Tarze Halavanon, Fayarki Dem, Kimo Hegel, Levanon. Vesirion Kemo Kemo Vain Rehemi Mai Adonai Lehama Hotse Vavotesh Kol Adonai Yachil Midbar Yachil Adonai Midbar Kadesh Kol Adonai Cholel Ayalot Vayachesof Yearot Uvechalot Kulo Omer Kavod Ay, ay, ay Adonai Lama Buyashav Yeshev Adonai Melech Leholam Adonai Oz Leham Oyitain Adonai Yevarech Etamu Vashalom Ay, 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 naray we can be seated. We turn together to page 41 for Lechado D. As we greet the Shabbat bride, we also try to greet Ruth's iPhone. Come on in. <laughs> so we turn to the to the uh, medieval sung poem that sort of bridges us between Kabbalat Shabbat and Mariv, between this series mostly of psalms um, into um, our evening service of liturgy, this medieval piyut, this medieval sung poem, which I suppose the English translation is hymn. English translation of Piyut, a hymn, um, written by the medieval Kabbalists of Tzfat as a bridge in this moment because we greet rest like we would greet a beloved. And if only they knew what the pace of life these days, lo, these many centuries later, would be like, they would certainly have said, yes, we, we had that right, greeting rest at the end of a week like a beloved. So as we welcome Shabbat with Lechado Di, I want to invite us to think about some aspect of this week that we are happy to breathe out, to set on a shelf for 25 hours, some part of restfulness, or perhaps maybe it's a part of our self-care regimen that we've been neglecting that you certainly would want to greet during these next 25 hours, like you would greet a beloved. Page 41, Lecha Dodi, Likrat Kala, Pene Shabbat Nekabela. Come, my friend, let us greet the beloved, the Shabbat presence we bring inside. Lecha do di li krat kala yana dai yana dai yana dai pene shabbat ne kabela Lecha do di li krat kala yana dai yana dai yana dai pene shabbat ne kabela Shamor vizachor bidibur echad Hishmi anu el hame yu chadai adonai Echad, Ushemo Echad, Leshemul Tiferet, Veli Hitzhila, E 
Top of page 45. Kiva orech kuhumi uri ay 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 uri uri shir daveri kevo dadonai alayich nigla elech adodi li krat kala yananai 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 pre Shabbat nekabela lech adodi li krat kala yananai 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 pre Shabbat nekabela top of page forty seven yummy. Small we rise as we face the entrance to our sanctuary, our homes, our living rooms, our dining rooms, our dens, and we greet the Shabbat bride. Boi veshaloma teret bala Gam besimcha uvetsocho lai hai hai Tochemunei amsegula Boi chala, boi chala Lecha do dili krat kala yananai 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 pre Shabbat nekabela. Lecha do dili krat kala yananai 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 pre Shabbat nekabela. We can be seated. <sighs> Page 49, Psalm for Shabbat. Miz more sheer lay home ha shabbat tov le hodot la hadonai uleza merle shimcha elyon uleza merle shimcha elyon le hagid babo ker hastecha ve munatcha valelot ale hasor ve ale navel alei gayon bechinor means more sheer lay home hashavat tov lehodot la donai Uleza mer le shimcha elyon, Uleza mer le shimcha elyon, Kise machtani adonai before Alecha, Bema ase adecha haranen. Ma god luma asecha adonai, me od am kumach shevotecha. Miz more sheer lehom ha shabbat, tov lehodot la hadonai, uleza mer le shimcha elyon, uleza mer le shimcha elyon. Page 51 at the asterisk. Tzadikat amar yifrach keres balvanon yizkashetu olim bevet Adonai bechatzot Eloheinu ya. Frihu od yenu avon beseva 
Dishanim Verananim Yehu Lagid Ki Ashar Adonai Tzuri Velo Avla Tavo Page Actually, you know what, let's turn together, because I think that we are just shy of a minyan. Ah, we're getting someone. Actually, if everyone... Right here. What? If everyone who is, yeah, if everyone who is, who is here online, whether your camera's on or not, could just enter into the chat. How many adult Jewish folks are with you within earshot? We would get a really great idea of whether or not we are close to a minyan or if we have a minyan. So how many we got here today? Oh, on the phone. How many do you have on the phone, phone, phone friends? We have two. You have Jules two. Is that, Ruth and, is that Ruth and Jules? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on my cell phone, so I've got the camera off. I think that we're there. All right. Let's do that. So I want to invite you to rise in spirit or in body on page 57 for Baruch Hu. Look at what we've got. See, whether you're in town or out of town, you can help make a minion. Look at that. Now, no one better sign off before the end of services because we have people saying Kaddish. It might be you saying Kaddish. Who knows? It's true. But what an amazing thing it is to be able to show up for one another. There's something kind of magical about that moment when, when we know that we have exactly 10 people because everyone is crucially important, right? You, you might think that like the rabbi is the one you need for the service, but actually each and every person here is suddenly equally important and crucial to building sacred community, so. Yes, your koach team. Hi, Steve. Shabbat shalom. As we bless the source of life, so we are blessed. As we bless the source of life, so we are blessed. And the blessing gives us strength and makes our vision clear. And the blessing gives us peace and the courage to dare. As we bless the source of life, so we are blessed. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMevorach. Where'd you guys go? We can be seated. Page 61, let's read together in the English uh, by Rabbi Rami Shapiro, the interpretive version of Ahavat Olam, together. We are loved by an unending love. We are embraced by arms that find us even when we are hidden from ourselves. We are touched by fingers that soothe us even when we are too proud for soothing. We are counseled by voices that guide us even when we are too embittered to hear. We are loved by an unending love. We are supported by hands that uplift us even in the midst of a fall. We are urged on by eyes that meet us even when we are too weak for meeting, we are loved by an unending love. Embraced, touched, soothed, and counseled, ours are the arms, the fingers, the voices. Ours are the hands, the eyes, the smiles. We are loved by an unending love. Blessed are you, beloved one, who loves your people, Israel.
Baruch atah Adonai, o'ev Yisrael. Page 65, the Shema. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, Bechol levavecha uvechol nafshecha uvechol mehotecha vehayu hadvarim aele asher anochi mitzavecha hayom alevavecha v'shinan taham levanecha v'dibahar tabaham b'shivtecha b'veitecha uvelechtecha v'aderech uvesho Bekha of Kumeha, who Kashar Tam Leo Talia Deha, Veha Yuleto Tafot, Bain Aineha, Uchetav Taham, Al Mizuzot Betaha, Uvi Shareha. We continue silently with one of the two biblical selections that follows. Veha Yam Shmotish Romans with Tarshan of Himets of Hedelim. Adonai Eloichem Emet. Page 77 at the bottom of the page, on to page 79. Humaruto Beratzon, Giblu Alehem Moshe Miriam, Uvne Israel Echanu, Shirab Simchara Bahave Ameru Hulam. Turn the page. Micha Mocha, Micha Mocha, Micha Mocha, Micha Mocha, Micha Mocha, Micha Mocha, Baelim Adonai. Mi kamocha, mi kamocha, hoy mi kamocha, mi kamocha, mi kamocha, mi kamocha, nedar pakodesh nora tehilo tohse fele nora tehilo tohse fele. Mal Chutecha, Rauvanecha, Boke Ayam, Lifne Moshe Zeheli, Anuve Ameru Adonai Imloch Leolam, Vaed Adonai Imloch Leolam. Vaed venemar ki fadadonai et Yaakov ugalomi ad chazak mi menu baruch atadonai kal Yisrael. Page eighty-three, below the line, actually, uh, below below the line, at the bottom of the page. When fears multiply and danger threatens. When sickness comes, when death confronts us, it is God's blessing of shalom that sustains us and upholds us, lightening our burden, dispelling our worry, restoring our strength, renewing our hope, reviving us. I mentioned, as we were about to say the Baruchu, that there's a magical moment on evenings or mornings when we gather for prayer and we have exactly 10 people or when that 10th person shows up whether through the door or through the like den entryway you know that 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 magical 10th person right 
And I, I mentioned offhand because, you know, there might be people here saying Kaddish. But actually, there's something incredibly profound about that connection between what the author of this poem or this reflection, this kavanah, this intention, talks about as God's blessing of shalom, sustaining us, upholding us, lightening our burden, dispelling our worry, right? But for many people, gathering in a minion to say Kaddish is standing at that nexus between what's going on in here and our ability to sort of connect to something bigger, greater out here when that darkness comes or when we are in those corridors of memory, whether they're sweet memories or whether they're hard memories or whether even the sweetest memories are really hard. But there's something about being part of that group of 10 human beings that enables us to say Kaddish that gives us access to the lightening of our burden, the dispelling of our worry, the restoring of our strength, the renewing of our hope, and that reviving that often comes from connecting in community. So I want to lift that up, that it's not just a metaphorical Sukkot Shalom that we sing about or daven about in Hashki Venu, right? It's not just a metaphorical Sukkah of peace, but it's literally one that we hold up for one another. Whether it's at the moment where we end Mourner's Kaddish with Ose Shalom Bim Romav, Hu Ya Ase Shalom, right? That prayer for peace that also ends Kaddish. Or whether it's in this prayer that we say in the evening where we have this metaphor of a sukkah of peace, that in those dark and scary times, that's when we gather in community. But when we try to gather in community and we find that we're the only one, that can sometimes be even scarier. When we gather in community and we notice that we are crucially important because on a, on a week that everyone's out of town or something like that, we are the ones making community for one another. That we each have a role in holding up that Sukkot Shalom. We bring light into the darkness for one another. And that's a pretty powerful and wonderful thing to be able to do for one another. Not just a metaphor, but a real thing. It's page 81 for Hashki Venu. Hashki Venu, Adonai Eloheinu l'shalom, Hamidenu malkeinu l'chaim. Ufros aleinu sukkat, sukkat, shalom echa. Ufros aleinu sukkat. Sukkot Shalom Echa Spread over us the shelter of your peace Sukkot Shalom Echa Ushmor Tzeitenu Vowenu Lechaim Ule Shalom Meata Ve'ad Olam Ufros Aleinu Sukkot Shalom Baruch atah Adonai, haporei sukkat shalom, halenu v'el kol amo Yisrael, v'el kol yoshvei tevel, v'al Yerushalayim. We rise in spirit or in body on page 85. V'shamru v'nei Yisrael, et ta Shabbat, la sohot et ta Shabbat lehedorot amberit olam. V'shamru v'nei Yisrael, et ta Shabbat, la sohot et ta Shabbat lehedorot Dorot amberi tovam, beni uim ne Israel oti leolam, oti leolam, oti leolam. Veshamru bene Israel et Shabbat. 
La so te ta shaha but le doro tamberi to lam ki she shet yami masadonai asadonai et ashamaim ve et aret ve shamru ve ne israel et ashabat la so te ta shahabat le doro tamberi to lam u vayoma shvi Shabbat Vainafash, Shabbat Vainafash, Shabbat Vainafash, Vishamru, Vene Israel, Et Shabbat, Basahot Et Shabbat, Ledoro Tamberi Tolam, Hit Kadal Vit Kadash Mehraba. Belma di Rahirute, Viam Lich Malhute, Berhaehon, Uv Yomehon, Uvahae de Hobbit Israel, Bagala, Bagala, Uvisman Kari, Vemeru, Amen, Yeshme Rabba Mevora, Leola Mulame Almaya. Nit bar, it barach, vishta bach, vid par, vid roman, vid nase, vid tatar, vid ale, vid alal, shame de kudesha, brihu, le lamin kober hatave, shihirata, tush behatave, nehemata, damir han bealma veimeru. Amen. We take a few minutes as we turn to the Amidah, beginning on page 91, which we recite silently in the evenings, an opportunity to make it through these tefillot, whether in Hebrew, in English, using the commentary below the line, the meditations towards the back of the book, making it way through the Amidah at our own pace and in our own way. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufia gite hilata ha. Say shalom bim romav. Who ya say shalom aleinu? Ve al kol Yisrael, ve al kol Yosh ve Tevel. Ya say shalom, ya say shalom. Shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu v'al kol yoshve tevel v'imeru. Amen. 
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. So this week, I've been doing a lot of preparing for um, and thinking about not only the high holidays, but really the, the kickoff of the pre-high holiday season, which is, of course, not just the day we send out the high holiday mailing, which happened to be today. The high holiday mailing is now in the mail. We should all watch for the mailing, but that's not what I wanted to say tonight. Um, I have been getting ready for the other, or, or being keenly aware of the other kickoff of the pre-high holiday season, and that is the um, uh, the the weeks that lead up to Tisha B'Av, right? The ninth of Av, Tisha B'Av, and then preceding it by 21 days or like three weeks, um, the 17th of Tammuz, we have in the middle of the summer the worst series of holidays ever to celebrate and, and mark at Jewish summer camp because they are the, right? Camp gets the worst holidays. They get these downers about remembering the destruction of the temple and the, the, the sort of cosmic intersection through space and time of all calamity befalling our people that is the ninth of Av. And so in talking about Tisha B'Av with our Tisha B'Av planning committee, uh, to prepare for this year's uh, service and observance, and also just sort of in my own work, having to deal with the fact that my birthday happened to fall this year on a fast day, the 17th of Tammuz, right? Not the best day for a birthday. I was doing a little bit of reading in one of my um, favorite daily readers, which is the Jewish Book of Days by Rabbi Jill Hammer. And as she was tracing this season through these three weeks um, sort of unfolding between the, um, the 17th of Tammuz and the 9th of Av, and then turning the corner through the seven weeks that will unfold between the 9th of Av and Rosh Hashanah, right, the seven Haftarot of Consolation, um, which we start with on, you know, Shabbat Nachamu, right, be comforted, by com be comforted my people. She traces this beautiful arc from destruction to redemption. And I happened to open again after having read this whole arc and, and, and sort of um, immersed myself in it and her reflections on it um, this week. I happened to open again today to the page for this day, the 23rd of Tammuz and found a piece of, of, of Torah that I wanted to share tonight with everyone. So the way that she sets up this reader is totally in the way that if I were going to write a book, I would do it. Um, she selects two texts, one that's a biblical source and one that is a rabbinic source, either from Midrash or Mishnah or Talmud, um, and then does a little bit of a reflection. And so the two sources that she pulled for today, I thought would be really lovely to bring to all of you at Shabbat services tonight. The first is from Shira Shirim, the Song of Songs. The green figs form on the fig tree, the vines in the blossom, the vines in blossom give off fragrance. Arise, my darling, my fair one, come away. And then, the uh, rabbinic source she cites is Lamentations Rabbah, the uh, midrash on the book of um, Lamentations. The Holy One said, if I exile them in the winter, then they will suffer in the frost and cold. But if I exile them in the summer, even if they walk on roads and highways, they will come to no harm. If I exile them in the winter, there will be no grapes on the vine and no figs on the fig tree. But if I exile them in the summer, there will be grapes on the vine and figs on the tree. This is a season of meditation on exile, right? On our, in our Jewish calendar, uh, the beginning of the breaching of the walls of Jerusalem, leading to three weeks later the destruction of the temple. 
we meditate on and we sort of envision the waves and waves of calamity. And we are here in our contemporary moment in the midst of another wave of calamity, right? Another wave of the pandemic. This B a five variant situation. We've 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 uh, we've uh, broken from Greek letters for a moment because we're now on sub variants of Greek letters, right? But there's something different about a wave of calamity in the summer than a wave of calamity in the winter. I don't know how many of us. Uh, are, are willing to re-traumatize ourselves by thinking back to those first and second pandemic winters. But especially this past winter, that wave of Omicron, that first wave of Omicron, in the midst of the freezing cold bleakness of can't even hang out with people outdoors, that was pretty devastating. At least it was to me. And when I read this piece from Echa Raba, from Lamentations Raba, ostensibly talking about the destruction of the temple and the exile to Babylonia. If I exile them in the winter, then they will suffer the frost and the cold, but if I exile them in the summer, at least the world will be beautiful and full of natural bounty to eat. They'll be okay emotionally, socially, emotionally in the long run. There's something beautiful about the way in which we as human beings either imagine God or understand the sacred holding that the divine does of humanity on this spinning ball of the earth out in the expanse of space, right? That here the world keeps turning. Calamity befalls us. Temples are destroyed, laws are overturned, waves of COVID keep seeming to come, and we pick wine berries this season. The figs are ripening on the trees. We have found ways to celebrate with joy B'nai Mitzvah. We gather for concerts and amazing, fun things because we are held. And so as we make our way through this summer, um, going down the shore, going on vacations, getting on airplanes, going to visit grandchildren, hanging out with one another, we notice the beauty and the bounty in the summer and the ways in which the seasons of this year hold us and we don't allow ourselves, even as we observe Tisha B'Av, to fall into the darkness, because that's not how this summer season works. It's safe to be in the space of Tisha B'Av in the summer. If Tisha B'Av were in the winter, we would have a big, like, psychological, emotional problem if we went into those depths in February. But when we go into those depths in the summer, we know that the sun can pull us out the ripening figs on the tree, the promise of something wonderful around the corner pulls us out. And so I want to invite us as we make our way through these three weeks to Tisha B'Av, through this time of the seven weeks following of consolation into the turning of the new year on Rosh Hashanah. There, I just did it. I just admitted that Rosh Hashanah was around the corner. I want to invite us all to take the journey along with the seasons. We enjoy the summer sun, even as we experience a world around us that may be out of sync with what we would have hoped it would look like right now. We notice as the season turns into that late summer haze and into the fall, we notice as back to school sales start hitting the stores, as the leaves begin to turn and as we begin to get ready for Rosh Hashanah, that we are held by this beautiful earth that we hold to. Because if we went into exile in the, in the winter, we would suffer the frost and the cold. But we're never truly in exile in this summertime because even when we walk on the roads and the highways, 
we will come to no harm. There are grapes on the vine, figs on the fig tree. So we go out to the pick your own farm and enjoy the bounty of the season. Shabbat Shalom. And we're going to do a little reversal of our usual order because it feels like after that teaching, the thing we need to do next is Kiddush, not Mishaberach. So we're going to rise in spirit or in body for Kiddush and raise up our glass of grape juice or wine full to overflowing with sweetness. And we're going to add a little more sweetness. If you are celebrating something, I want to invite you to shout it out so that we can fill our cup and raise it in a l'chaim. Ah, Manny's got a cup. Who's celebrating something this week? Anybody? Anyone have something to celebrate? I just celebrated my birthday this past Sunday. It is not one ending in a zero or a five. That's next year. So I had a birthday. Anybody else celebrating anything? All right. Oh, and Bina has not yet lost that first tooth for anyone who's been waiting for these past few weeks. She has her first loose tooth, and it is still a loose tooth. Page 119, we raise up our glasses. Sweetness and enjoy. Savri chaverai. L'chaim. That's the one. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei peri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kitshanu b'mitzvotah v'ratzavanu v'shabbat kodesho b'ahava u'vratzon hinchilanu zikaron lemaasei v'reishit ki hu yom techilah. Let me cry a Kodesh. Zeher Betsiyat Mihitzraim. Kielenu Karata. Veotanu Kitahashta. La Avoda Teha. Veshabahat Kodesha. Beahava Uvratson. Hinchaltanu Baruchata. Mekatehesh Hashabat Lechaim Lechaim We can be seated. So we're going to turn from our Kiddush to the inside cover of our prayer books. I think it's the inside back cover if you have an Orchadash one. Um, to our Misha Berach Lecholim, our prayer for healing and wholeness. And I want to invite you uh, to share the names of anyone about whom you're thinking tonight who could use a little healing, healing of body, healing of mind, healing of spirit. You could name their names out loud. You could put them into a chat. If you don't have access to a chat, you should certainly share them out loud. <laughs> like if you're here analog style, and I applaud you for it. Um, this is Ruth, it's, um, Doug Cowman, Rob Johnson, Jules, John Warner. If I remember the other one, I'll tell you. Thanks. Fran Anderson. And Fran Anderson. And Jerry McClash. And Andrea Abram Turbert, James Alberts, Fran Anderson, Roberta Archibald. Arden Barry and Carol Mueller Bell, Rabbi Deborah Bowen, Robin Cupo, Frankie Deaver, Faye Fishman, Marcy Fish, Joan Flaherty, Rhoda Gansler, Joaquim Gabel, Eric Gershman, Jonathan Giannini, Cordula Hamish, Chava Hurley, Sharon Cass, Moss Kaufman, Beverly and Howard Kaufman, Fran Kaufman, Dr. Joy Layden, Robert Mueller, Anthony Nero, Lisa Nicholson, Jennifer Riley and Thomas Pablo, Stan Pollock, Abby Rosenberg, Mike Rosenberg, Shelley Sanders, Marlene Sortino, Lloyd Souter, Howard Temple, Lynn Van Engel, Brandy Wozniewski, Stan Wexstein, Millie Weissman, Grace Angwill, Eileen Zeff, and are there others? Thanks. And Manny, did you have anybody? Yes, uh, Marissa Goldman, 
uh, Nancy and Craig Hyman, Joey Snagaki, Bob Austin, Linda Wachtel. Thanks. And Dorothy Berlin. May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Bless those in need of healing with Rafua Shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. And we rise in spirit or in body on page 121 for Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol l'atet kedula le'ot seher breishit shenatan l'anu Torah ha'temet v'chaye olam nata betochenu v'anachnu korim u'mishtachavim u'modim lifnei melech malachi hamlachim hakadosh baruch hu shehu notesh my <laughs> We can be seated. And as we turn in our Sidor to Mourner's Kaddish on page 131, we also turn in our hearts and our memories to those whom we've loved and lost in recent weeks. We marked the passing, and this is the uh, the last Shabbat of, of Shloshim for the Stern and Lavenberg family, remembering uh, Lenny Stern, father of Larry Stern, father-in-law of Merrill, grandfather of Jen Lavenberg, great-grandfather of Zahara and Elliot Lavenberg. And at this season in years past, this week we mark the Yort sites, the anniversaries of the passing of Leonard Rubenstein, father of Debbie Carl, Robert A. Fisher, father of Stephen Fisher, Ronald Popke, brother of Cheryl Burson, William Ball, father-in-law of Deb Schaefer, Sherelle Jacobson, mother of Peter Jacobson, Jack Gantman, father of Debbie, Debbie Levin, uh, Milton Schacht, father of Ed Schacht, June Press, mother of Sharon Starr, Irving Katz, father of Rhoda Gansler, and Douglas Jacobson, brother of Peter Jacobson. Are there others who are saying Kaddish or observing a yort site that was not just mentioned this evening? Um, we mark also the passing of those who died at this season in the last uh, two years whose yort sites we are reaching now of COVID-19 as well as those who've passed from COVID in the last 11 months. Um, so I want to invite mourners and all of those observing a yort site to rise in spirit or embody for mourners Kaddish. Page 131. Yitkadal divra v'amlich malchute. Bechayechon, Vyomechon, Uvachaye, the whole bait Yisrael, Baagala, Uvizman, Kariv, Vimru, Amen. 
Yehei Shmei Rabba Mevorach Leolam Ulamei Almaya Yit Barach Vit Tabach Vit Paar Vit Romam Vit Nase Vit Hadar Vit Ale Vit Halal Shmei Dekudsha Brichu Leela Min Kol Birchata Veshirata Tush Pechata Venechemata Da Amiran Be Alma Vimru Amen Yehei Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya Vechayim aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael, v'imru amen. Ose shalom b'mromav, hu ya'ase shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yoshvei Tevel, v'imru. Amen. Zichronam livracha, may their memories be a blessing for all of us. So again, Shabbat shalom. A couple of messages and announcements. So, um... The, um, the summer is upon us, and there is a little bit of a blip in our um, summer Shabbat schedule. Usually we are, we are on every Shabbat morning, well, we are on every Shabbat morning of the summer. On Friday nights, we do off, on, off, on. However, in order to hit an off week on Labor Day weekend, we have two on weeks in a row. Tonight is Friday night services, so is next Friday night. So, there are two on weeks in a row. When it shows up in Hakesher and in the daily links and on the website, it is not a mistake. After that, we'll be off and then on and then off and then on in a way that makes sense so that we are, guess what? Off on Labor Day weekend. So, um, that is the first and quite important announcement. Yes, there's a, there's, there's a leap Friday night, exactly. This is, this is the leap, the leap week is next week. Um, tomorrow morning, Torah study um, on the patio at nine o'clock. I will be providing bagels this week at 8.45, so there will be bagels. Um, depending on how warm it gets, how early. We may move indoors for the service into the community room um, or into the sanctuary. Um, depending on the will of the group, um, but safety is paramount. I know that because of COVID and, 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 and safety because of COVID, we have been doing Shabbat mornings on the patio. It's supposed to hit a high of 99 tomorrow. And so we may, for safety purposes because of the heat, take advantage of the extremely spacious, like 50 foot ceiling situation in the sanctuary and um, and put on our masks and do services indoors. So if you were on the fence because of the heat in coming on site tomorrow, there is, there, there is a chance that we will do services indoors in the air conditioning. Uh, that's tomorrow morning. Services are, we do not serve virtual bagels. It's BYO Oneg and BYO Bagels when you join from offsite. It's one of the downsides to being in the comfort of your own home is that we don't feed you. Sorry. Gotta bring your own apples and honey for Rosh Hashanah too. I know, I'm sorry, Harriet. We just don't bring the bagels to Riverdale, but we love you. But I, I have it on good authority that you have better bagels in Riverdale than we have here. No? Oh, well. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, we used to have excellent bagels. No more. It's hard no to more. find. That's a bummer. Who yep. knew that Riverdale needs better bagels again? Yep. New York. Yeah, Riverdale, yep. New York, like the one in the Bronx. Nope. Apparently yes. not. Yes. All the bagels have gone to Brooklyn. Anyway. So, um, and then on um, Saturday night, the 6th, is Erev Tisha B'Av. We will be, um, we plan to... Um, uh, have our Erev Tisha B'Av observance in the Life Cycle Garden this year. Um, we will provide Yortzite candles for people to, um, to, to read by um, out in the Life Cycle Garden, which is just, I keep pointing that way because it's just across that wall <laughs> outdoors. Um, there will be an opportunity to join from home. It will be a hybrid event. Um, so uh, uh, either by Zoom or outdoors in the Life Cycle Garden. Um, um, and more information will be coming out about that later on. I believe that we are starting at 8.30 p.m. on Saturday night, uh, August 6th. 
If you are interested in taking part in Erev Tisha B'Av, um, Pat Steinberg is looking to assign uh, one or two additional English readings. All of, um, all of Eicha, all the Book of Lamentations, is already covered in both uh, Hebrew chanting and the English overreads. And thank you to Ruth, one of our laners, who is on tonight. Yes, your koach. Um, uh, but there are still a few English readings left. Please be in touch with Pat Steinberg um, or Jeff Chebet um, to claim those. Don't get in touch with Dan Schwartz. I think that he is traveling at the moment. Um, other pieces, the High Holiday mailing went out today. Keep your eyes on the post for preliminary schedule and all of the things about how we're celebrating the High Holidays this year. Um, the, the next iteration of High Holiday mailings, as well as registration for High Holidays themselves, will open around the 1st of Elul, which is in um, late August. So August 23rd, the virtual Elul mailing goes out. But the paper mailing should be hitting, hitting home sometime time between now and like Wednesday of next week. Um, other messages. Hold on. Hold on. You got to unmute yourself, Davis. Rich Davis, you got to okay. unmute yourself. So, yeah, just just uh, uh, just uh, 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 notice this uh, month of August, in of August, when we have the uh, 12 Sev Chabara, which is always on the first Wednesday at 730, we're moving that to Monday. Whoa. For that week. So it will be on August the 1st, Monday at 7.30. Great. And it did go out to once to Bakesha. Wonderful. And there is no healing service in the month of August. Um, and um, for all other wonderful events, please see Hakesher. Is there anyone else who has a message that needs? How far is your shul from Philly? Ah, good question. Um, we are, how long would it take from, from here to Center City? Half hour, 45, depending on traffic? Yeah. Yeah, half hour, 45 minutes, not too bad at all. And we're right on the regional rail as well, the Fort Washington stop. You can take a train straight from Center, straight from a 30th Street station um, to uh, less than a mile away from the synagogue. There you go. Anyway. So, oh, and it's faster during COVID lockdown. That's true. <laughs> so before we start talking about geography, we may as well sing Adon Olam um, and uh, say Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Enjoy some of this delicious oneg that we have waiting for us in the community room. Again, sorry, it's a schlep from Riverdale to the oneg, but much closer than South Florida. Adon Olam, Asher Mahalach, Beteram Kol, Yitzir Nivra, Lied Nahasa, Bechaf Sokol, Azai Melech Shemoni Kra, Azai Melech Shemoni Kra, Veachare, Kichlotakol. Levado im loch nora, ve hu ha ya, ve hu ho ho ve, ve hu ye he, beti fara, ve hu ye he, beti fara, ve hu echad, vie hin shani, le ham shilo, le hach bira, beli re sheet, beli tach lit, ve lo ha oz. Veha misra, vela haos, veha misra, vehu eli, vecha go hali, et sor hevli, pihe et sahara, vehu ni si, humaha no hosli, menat go si, me yo me kra, menat go si, be yo me kra, be ya do. Afkihi druhuhi, be tishan, vea ira, veim ruhi, gavi hati adonai li, velo ira, adonai li, velo ira. Time for Motsi. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lecha min haaretz, b'te avon, Shabbat shalom, 
Shabbat Shalom. And Manny, your challah looks very exciting. Did you bake it? No. It, it, it's actually a challah roll. Aha! But it's a very nicely braided challah roll. Shabbat yeah. Shalom, everyone. And Shabbat, Shabbat shalom. shalom. Let's enjoy some Kiddush. Shabbat Shalom. Have a wonderful weekend. Good night, Amy. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. All right. Shabbat Shalom.